could you just imagine how much exercise you're going to get from something that he just put on the ground like that? afternoon everyone we're back with another home quarantine workout session my name is Don Don of Limo if you're new here I'm a registered nurse and a licensed soccer coach while we don't have access to a soccer field an indoor pitch or anything we'll just do it at home this time we're working on our footwork and agility so if you could see I've set up the agility ladder and what we're going to need are some agility bands to go with it. I'll run you through the exercise and I hope you can do it on your own as well at home. First things first, if you don't have this ladder, you could do some, you could set up your flip flops the same way and it works just as well as it is ouch 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 it's up it's up and of course preparation is key so we're going to do a bit of a warm-up before we start the exercise and also have your water bottles handy because it's going to be sweaty it's going to be intense and you need to keep hydrated and it's hot outside so here we go Now that we've worked up our body into our exercise state, we start with the agility work with the ladder here. No agility bands first. So we'll start with the high knees. Um, one leg for each gap of this space. So what we need to do is to bring our knees up into our chests land on the balls of our feet so our heels don't touch the ground when we strike the ground and then just drive the arms for every movement as if we are running you know the faster we drive our arms the faster our legs go so here we go go through the ladder five times for that exercise and additional tips don't bend back that's what a lot of people do when they do the high knees they try to lean back try to lean your body a bit forward just so you could replicate that running motion you don't lean back when you run do you and um, every time you go through the ladder you try to go faster than your previous so you try to gradually increase the speed and 
uh, you're a bit more familiar with the course so you could step it up a bit more every time so the next exercise we're going to do is we're going to do the high knees again but this time um, we're going to do two steps for every gap of the ladder so let's go So don't forget to breathe while you're doing it. There are some people that go through the ladders and they don't breathe while they go through it. You need the oxygen guys. So please try to regulate your breathing so you can last longer in these exercises. So the next one would still be a high knees uh, exercise, but this time we're going laterally, meaning we're going side to side. So, so yeah, that's what we're doing. Uh, lateral high knees. Did I just explain it before I told you the name of the exercise? That would have easily been an accident, so better tie your shoelaces up securely. So the next exercise is called a weave or some people will call it the icky shuffle. So let me show you through the course. So we have three points when you're looking at the ladder. The left, the center, and the right. So your feet are going to touch, your left foot is going to touch left side and the center where your right foot will hit the right side and the center. And both feet should not cross each other. So let me run you through it. Get a bit of skip there, 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 there. Easy, right? Now let's put a little bit of extra into it. Doing the icky shuffle with some Bands. First off, to make this thing work, you have to keep it tensed all the time, even if you closed your feet. So, after stretching, when you take your feet back into normal position, you don't loosen the bands down. You just, uh, yeah, it just defeats its purpose if you let it loose like that. So, better keep it tight and tensed and engage the whole time and you'll see magic happening all right one on our list would be a check-in check-out lateral movement exercise we're doing it again with the uh, agility bands so what we're going to do is switch. so we'll start from the side to get two feet in and then two feet out two feet in again and out two feet in and out in and out all the while your arms are driving you threw the motions so you could have that balance you could have that drive so yeah let's show you by now 
how you feel your legs, especially the inner thighs. Uh, I'm out of breath. You'll feel your inner thighs tightening up a bit and also a bit of your lateral thighs. So yeah, it's turning out to be a pretty good workout right now. So on to the next one. So the next exercise will be a foot exchange. So we've had the lateral check in, check out before, right? So next one would be, next one we'll have our feet. Doing it like that, so we'll skip the other foot, takes the place of the other foot uh, inside the ladder. That's why it's called a foot exchange. workout here and I love it so next one would be the single step in and out this would be our last exercise with the agility bands so what we're going to do is we start from outside laterally of the uh, ladder and then we try to step one foot inside then bring it back to starting position and inside again and out keeping the same distance away from the ladder for our starting position I guess so let me show you how we do it So these agility bands things uh, they're in different colors and each color represents a different sort of tightness to the rubber bands I think the blue one is the softest followed with the red and the green one is uh, tighter yeah that's it on to the last two exercises now there are three exercises more so first we'll do is a two-footed hop so remember the point I told you about for the Ike shuffle or the weave we're going to use them this time again and this time we're going to plant two feet together every time so let's go Right after the two-footed hop, we now have the single leg hop. So, same mechanics from the two-footed one, except for some very minute detail like, like you're only going to use one foot.
He observed closely if we are pushing off from outside, uh, from your like, let's say your right foot, and you push off going farther right, uh, you're not able to do it uh, as quickly as you can as from going the other way because yeah, you're just not designed, you're just not made uh, as humans to do that. So we push off with the other foot to go the other way and instead of having your right foot go even more to the right or your left foot going more to the left. So one last and we're done. So the last exercise would be two steps going forward and one step going back. Actually two, it's two going back. So we go up the ladder two notches then down one off to the next then back one two looks like sinulog doesn't it is it for our leg work and agility exercises for today uh, be sure to finish it off with a little cool down exercise or if you want and if you have a ball at home uh, finish it up with some juggling some footwork some little game between you and yourself or your pets if you have one uh, yeah that's it don't forget to cool down stretch uh, rehydrate and then wash your body afterwards because uh, yeah, you might be getting the virus outside of your house just to be sure nothing really wrong with being too careful these days so yeah do follow me on my youtube account that's Don Don of Limo and be sure to subscribe to my channel if you find the other videos interesting and this one if you find this video interesting Giving it a thumbs up would be very much appreciated. And I'll see you guys in the next episode. So stay safe, everyone.